Right here we have this queen sized bed wedge pillow. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and explain how it works. Just for reference, this is what it comes like inside the package. It's all tightly vacuum sealed. I'm gonna release this and let it air out for a minute before I show you what it looks like. So I just released the vacuum seal on all of these different pieces. And it is recommended that you give 36 to 48 hours just to allow this pillow to fully expand after being vacuum sealed and shipped. So I did wait a little while to show you what it looks like, but it does pretty much puff right up. You can see it kind of has this corner shape here. And what this is gonna do is actually going to help fill the gap between the edge of your bed and your wall between zero and five inches. This does have a couple of different color options you can choose from. As far as this cover piece, we have a white option, there's a light gray, and this is the dark gray option, which is the one I picked. So you can see this cover here does fit nicely around here and you can take this off to machine wash it anytime you'd like. This is some nice breathable fabric material and the nice thing about it is it actually has a couple of different pockets down on the side. I'm actually going to fit this pillow cover over here so you can see what it looks like. Now that I have this on that was really actually easy to put on because usually there's like a little zipper and you have to fit the whole wedge inside of there. And this one actually has a U-shaped zipper that goes all the way down and across the other end. So it was really easy to just place the pillow inside and zip it right up. You can see when this is fully assembled, this does have two little pockets and there are these two on this side and identical two on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my bed so I can show you how you can use it. So as you can see, I have a queen bed right now and there is this little gap between the actual bed frame and the mattress right here, which I feel like the pillows always tend to slide down there, which is really frustrating. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how we can use the pillow gap filler. So for example, if you have a gap that's less than four inches right here, then you can actually use this in this position where the smallest part of the triangle is on the bottom. Obviously you can't use the pockets in that direction. So you can see this sits right up just like this. And then you can continue to lean all of your different pillows in front of that, which would actually make it look a lot nicer from the outside just because your pillows are going to look a little bit more fluffed up, but also they're not gonna fall down in this little crack. So if you do have a gap anywhere between zero and six inches, you can actually flip this around and you can use it in this direction, which is going to be really useful to be able to use these little pockets. As you can see, my phone fits really easily in both of these different pockets. This would be perfect for a book as well. And then last but not least, if you do have kind of an awkward shaped gap right down there in your between your mattress and your bed frame, you could use it with this pointed end right here you can wedge it right between there if you do have a gap between zero and four inches. But honestly, I feel like the other ways are going to be more efficient. Overall, I feel like whether you're using this for an extra propping pillow or just filling up that gap between the back of the wall or your actual bed frame and your mattress itself, I feel like this is really useful with these little pockets. And the fact that you can actually wash this makes it really convenient as well.